Hi there. I'm not really in the right frame of mind to make flirty chit chat with a total stranger. I just want to know if I can borrow this chair. Oh. Definitely. Yes! Calling all movie lovers, feeling a twinge of nostalgia for those wild and sometimes wacky high school and college days? Then get ready to hit rewind because we're counting down the top 10 teen college high school movies on Netflix. Junior year, I can hardly believe it. Thanks, Dad. Well, we need to talk about your sexual health. No, no, please no. I want you to be safe. Dad, why are you giving me these? Don't forget to have fun. Yes, well, I have a lot of rubbers for that. Lara Jean Covey writes secret love letters to her crushes, but never sends them. However, her younger sister Kitty decides to mail them all out, throwing Lara Jean's life into chaos. As she tries to navigate the fallout with each recipient, she finds herself developing real feelings for one of them, Peter Kavinsky. You never saw me. Ow. Ow. This classic teen rom-com is a heartwarming story about self-discovery, first love, and the importance of being true to yourself. It's a light and charming watch with a touch of unexpected sweetness. Guys, I need you to help me get on the dance team. You don't dance at all. Work It, 2020. Quinn Ackerman desperately wants to get into her dream dance college, but her lack of training and low GPA threaten her chances. When she discovers that a rival college scout will be attending a local dance competition, Quinn hatches a plan to create a fake dance team and compete. She recruits a group of non-dancers, including the academically gifted but socially awkward Isaac, and together they embark on a hilarious and heartwarming journey to learn to dance and work as a team. The work at stage, it's huge. And no new team has ever won it. The film features catchy music, impressive dance routines, and a cast of relatable characters with their own vulnerabilities and strengths. Elle, let's go. We're gonna be late for school. Ninth grade pants and 11th grade body. Perfect. Elle Evans has been best friends with Noah Flynn since childhood and has a secret crush on him. Their pact, never to date each other, adds another layer of complexity. However, things change when Elle is chosen to run the kissing booth at the school's spring carnival. She ends up sharing a surprise kiss with Noah, igniting a spark between them and causing a rift in her friendship with his younger brother, Lee. Oh my God, Ellen, how are you? So many beautiful girls at Harvard. Experienced girls? Sorry about you and Noah. We didn't break up though. With different zip codes. Breakups are basically automatic. Automatic. <sighs> Sometimes I hate high school. This is a fun and relatable story about friendship, navigating mixed signals, and the excitement of first love. It's lighthearted and predictable, but offers an enjoyable escape into the classic teen rom-com formula. I've always wanted to date the most popular girl, drive the nicest car, and go to the fanciest school. Yale is the goal, correct? More than anything in the world. But I can't afford any of that. Needing money to impress a girl at his dream college, Brooks Radigan creates a fake dating app. He crafts different personas to cater to his client's desires, from a jock to a bad boy. But things get complicated when Brooks develops real feelings for Celia, a client who wants to be taken to a music festival disguised as his girlfriend. My uncle's paying me to escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. <laughs> what? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I'd get the payment you were talking about, and I get to take your car. You got a suit? This film explores the themes of authenticity, self-discovery, and the importance of genuine connections. Despite Brooks' deceptive tactics, he ultimately learns about self-acceptance and the dangers of creating a facade. So you want to go to Stanford? Yes, I almost got a perfect score on my SATs. You're a good student, but Sierra, what's your set? Excuse me? Sierra Burgess is. Shy Sierra Burgess becomes the target of unwarranted bullying when a popular jock, Jamie, believes he's been texting Veronica, a cheerleader based on a mistaken identity. <laughs> Would you wanna go on a date with me? Uh, yeah. This movie offers a refreshing twist on the classic mistaken identity trope. It delves into themes of self-acceptance, body image, and the importance of communication. While the initial premise relies on deception, the story ultimately celebrates honesty and finding your true voice. I'm 17. I live in Squamish with my dad. I run a business writing essays for people. 
I guess I just never thought I'd need anyone else. Ellie Chu, a quiet and intelligent high school student, excels in writing but lacks confidence in other areas. When the popular football player, Paul Munsky, develops a crush on Astor Flores, the shy and artistic new girl, he enlists Ellie's help to write love letters to win her over. Ask her to hang out. Come on, dude. You messaged me? Yep. It portrays Ellie's journey of self-discovery and the courage it takes to be honest about her feelings. The film also explores themes of friendship, communication, and the importance of pursuing genuine connections. What? Mom, I'm fast asleep! You don't look like you're asleep. What are you doing here? I'm doing exactly what I said I'd do. I'm here to have sex with you. D.V. Vishwakumar, a first-generation Indian-American teenager, juggles the complexities of high school life, crushes on classmates Paxton and Ben, a complicated relationship with her mother, and the grief of losing her father. Shit. I want to talk about a major event that could happen. Popping my cherry, dog. Oh, Lord. We are smart, and idiots are banging all the time. We can learn how to do it, too. Word of advice, just give up. Oh, yeah? I won't be able to walk again tomorrow because I'm about to go get railed. Peace out, virgin. Debbie's internal monologue, voiced by tennis legend John McEnroe, provides a hilarious and relatable perspective on her teenage struggles. It's a breath of fresh air in the teen rom-com genre. The show also features a diverse cast and celebrates Indian American culture in a way rarely seen on screen. The Golgi apparatus. The most amazing thing about this is Alex True Love is going to have sex next week. Huh? Hot, sweaty intercourse of a sexual kind. Oh. Alex True Love, a high school senior, is on a mission to lose his virginity with his girlfriend Claire. However, things take an unexpected turn when he meets Elliot a charming and openly gay classmate. You won't let me. It's like Mad Max out here. Guys doing guys, girls doing girls, girls turning into guys and doing girls that used to do girls and guys. Ah! This funny and honest film tackles the complexities of sexual identity with humor and sensitivity. It portrays Alex's journey of self-discovery as he challenges traditional notions of masculinity and explores his true desires. Mostly. And how many books did you read? 17. And does reading 17 books in one week seem normal? Does going to Harvard at the age of 14 seem normal? I'm clearly not normal. <sighs> Carrie Pilby, a brilliant but overachieving Harvard graduate, decides to drop out of college after a public breakdown. Returning home to live with her eccentric mother, Carrie struggles to adjust to normal life. To conquer her anxieties, she creates a list of 19 things she needs to experience, like having a job, going on a date, and trying drugs. As Carrie embarks on this self-discovery journey, she encounters quirky characters and learns valuable lessons about life and human connection. Hello? You're Carrie Pilby, right? I might be. What kind of guy are you looking for? I'm not looking for any kind of guy. So you go for girls. I'm not a lesbian. Are you a nun? This offbeat coming-of-age story offers a break from the typical high school drama. Carrie's unique approach to life is both humorous and relatable. The film promotes self-acceptance, embracing your individuality, and finding happiness outside the pressure to achieve societal norms. Craving even more teen drama or laughter? Then be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future movie content. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your all-time favorite high school or college movie on Netflix.